Hi, it's Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at fitting a linear model and we use NZ Graph R for relationship investigations at level one. So a reminder that with our scatter graphs we need to have our explanatory variable on the horizontal axis and our response variable on the vertical axis. And that's important for us to have around the right way, otherwise our equation that we want to come up with won't be correct. So with that said, let's go into NZ Grapher. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the rugby data set. And so I am going to choose a scatter graph. And I am going to choose the height and weight of the rugby players. They're both numeric variables. And what I want to do now is on the options in the middle here, middle bottom, there's one option called mean dot. And I'm going to select that. And what that's done is it's gone and found the mean height and mean weights and it's gone and found me the mean of all of this to put a dot right in the very, very middle. So when I come up with an equation that's going to fit this data, what I want to do is I want to come up with some kind of line that goes through the data nicely and it's going to go through that middle point. So my next step is to cut, scroll down until I get to the one where it says add custom line. And so I'm going to select my add custom line and that's made this little line up here. So it's got two little yellow dots and a line between them. If I just click, hold and move that point, you can see how the line moves around. So we just want to navigate this. We just want to move this line around so that we get the line so it's kind of going through the middle of the data. So it's following that pattern through the data. But I do want it to go through this main dot there. So I'm just going to tweak this a little bit and get it to come down a bit. Oh, a bit more. And there, and I look at that and I go, does that look reasonably light? So I'm just looking visually to say, does that look reasonable? And that's not too bad. So that's cool. I'm going to accept that there. Now what I want to do is I want to get the equation of that line that I've just drawn. So I've got this option here under the add custom line. There's a box there saying show equation. So I'm going to tick that and that has now formed this equation at the top there. So the weight is equal to some number times the height, take away another number. And so that is what I want to use to make some predictions in a bit. But now I have gone and formed that model, um, a linear model that fits through the data. So that's what we want to be able to do. So thanks very much for watching.